Headline number five, save now, buy later. That's right. Save now, buy later, not buy now, pay later. Uh, startup accrue savings just raised $25 million. So what is save now, buy later, you may ask? Well, it works like this. According to Payments Dive, a shopper who wants to save for a pair of, say, Allbirds shoes can choose a payment schedule using an accrue savings account, which is linked to their bank account. So as the shopper makes periodic contributions, the brand also contributes to the purchase when a customer hits certain milestones. So uh, Jonathan, I want to go to you first again. Where does this register for you on a scale of one to 10 on the new ideas to watch scale? Are you in? Uh, well, okay. So it's a new idea to watch. I'm skeptical about its uh, traction. Um, first Ooh. of all, I should say, uh, as the parent of a 17-year-old uh, daughter who operates on the concept of buy now, buy later, I like the <laughs> idea of introducing the idea of save now, buy later. Um, yes. I, when I saw this story, I thought, you know, this might be a teachable moment. We should sit down over dinner and discuss <laughs> this idea. Uh, she just looked at me in that kind of, oh my kind of way so that didn't oh, go anywhere I look but she actually is an interesting she is a specific example i think of a more general point because for the consumer this is like uh, angel versus devil on your shoulder right we've seen the huge expansion of buy now pay later and all the innovation mm -hmm. that's going on there which is the instant gratification of credit fueled uh purchase and now we have the angel on the shoulder of kind of deferred gratification of uh saving driven purchase I think there's a real interesting question about who has great attraction in the market, the devil or the angel. Um, I'm unsure. Um, the other thing that I thought was interesting about this was I can see that there's a lot in it for the finance provider and the retailer. Um, clearly, a finance provider, you'll do arbitrage on, on the funds that you're holding and all those sorts of stuff. For the retailer, it creates a stickiness, which is the moment I've begun to save for something, I'm probably in for the purchase and I'm identified and I can potentially be traded up with, you know, things like dollar matching and all that sort of stuff into the saving fund. I'm just struggling with what's in it for the consumer. That's what I was had a real problem with. And I think for there to be something in it for the consumer, you have to believe that there's quite a pool of margin it creates that the retailer can give you quite rich deals back. And, and I'm struggling with that. So I, I, I want it to work from my kind of puritanical point of view, but I'm struggling. I love that point of view. Dave, what about you? What are you thinking here? What can you, what do you have to add? I'm just gonna sit in here laughing. I mean, to be honest, to call this new is laughable to me. This is like Great. Sears in 1980 layaway. Like, yep. This is digitized, which I, I think, you know, there's a subset of customers that will like. And if you if you step back, FinTech is on fire, right? There's money chasing all these ideas. But one thing that, that I don't think has been talked about enough is some of those uh, buy now, pay later uh, models are starting to, to find that customers are delinquent and paying back. I think I read somewhere that 20 to 25 percent of customers that have used it in the last year have missed a payment. So yeah. in that world, this actually starts to become maybe a viable model or a more economically viable model and lower risk model that I, I think there's a real place in the market for it. Yeah, Dave, I, I read the same thing, um, which, you know, is always a, a concerning thing. But, you know, again, same thing is happening with credit cards. So, you know, buy now, pay later, just being another version of credit. But Chris is chomping at the bit here. Oh, yeah, totally. He's he's like going to he's going to blow us all away with what. No, no, I, say, I just right? agree with David said. That's why I think I love it, because it's not new. It's just a technological twist on something that we've seen before, which makes me think it's going to work. Right. It's just facilitating layaway now for many, many more people. It's giving access to them for them to do that. And to your point, the dynamics of what's going to happen in the buy now, pay their space is, is what it is. And, you know, we're going to see. And, and so uh, the other thing I'd add too, which I think is a cool wrinkle, I think this gives a whole different perspective to like the, the special drops, like that you see at a Nike or a fashion place where it helps people get into that in a much lower risk way, a way that's not as detrimental to their credit history potentially. But David, I saw you want to jump back in. Go for it. Man. Yeah, no, I'm excited about this. I think it, this is this is akin to how major retailers can offer their own credit card. Like this gives a small retailer the chance to offer a layaway program, which I think yep. is just a, a really interesting new un, underserved space uh, that I, if I could invest in this, I certainly would. Wow. Cool. And... Uh, yeah, yes. you poo-pooed this. You didn't even want to no. do this article. Okay. Well, first of all, you're on first your own of all, here. Go I'm for gonna, it. 
that's fine. First of all, no way, no way in a drop case am I as a retailer going to take a layaway program instead of somebody who's willing to take the credit risk and buy it that day. There's no reason for them to do this at all. And so while I think that it makes sense, and I agree with Jonathan, like psychologically as a culture, should we be teaching people to save and not have the instant gratification that buy now, pay later and credit provides? I think it's a great idea and concept. My Scottish grandfather who was saved every penny would be like, yes, this is where the country should be going. But honestly, we this is not the reality of the culture that we live in. I think um, you know, it it might make sense in other categories, like maybe in grocery, like Tesco just released a program with like preloaded, basically layaway grocery programs this last week so that people can manage their grocery spend. But I think when you talk about things like like on like drops, Chris, like, or anything, it does not make sense for any retailers to not only offer the, like take somebody on credit or on layaway who also might not pay, but, and might not pay over the course of eight to however many weeks, but also give them incentive to pay them to, to, you know, give them deals at certain points. No way is this going to go. I'm sorry. I love you all, but I'm not, I'm not in it. All right. Uh, okay. All right. I, I, Jonathan, what do you think here? Well, I, I just, I've just realized that Anne's just invented a new concept called save now, be off trend later. <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. <laughs> which is what it would be. You're not even going to be able to take that Instagram picture if you don't have the product. So, I mean, if, you, if you're waiting eight weeks later, nobody's going to care anymore. No, I think there's, I, I, David, go. Yeah, Let's I disagree. And I think if you think about it from like a, an e-commerce perspective, like think of cart abandonment. If you give yes. the person that, that was checking out and sees this big number and doesn't want to do it, the option to save now, pay later, I think there's a non, non insignificant amount of people that, that wouldn't abandon their cart. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Dave. I mean, I think that's a, I, I see that use case. I'm not saying this doesn't work for all retailers. I think where it, where the rub really comes for me is in like where Chris is talking about like that luxury retailers or like drops are going to be affected or impacted by this. And there is no possible way there. I'm sorry. It's not. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That that, that shouldn't distract from the value of the whole idea in total. So then are you back on the train of this is a good idea in total? I'm saying there are use cases for it. Do I think it's going to like overwhelm retail and we're going to see the same adoption of this that, that we do buy now, pay later? No, I don't. No. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Fascinating discussion. 